All right, what's up, guys? So I'm not looking for no defense, you know, comment for the teacher. And matter of fact, if you do leave any comments defending this teacher, the comments will get deleted. If you want to defend this teacher, you go on your own channel, you make your own video, and you defend her. Go to social media, go any and everywhere. I'm not trying to see that crap because there ain't no defense for this teacher. You call the cops on a student, get this student put in handcuffs, I don't know if she did get arrested and, like, say, I highly doubt she got sent to jail or anything. Or maybe, I know, maybe it could have been a situation where it's all, like, you know, she trespassed the student. And then, uh, yeah, if it did go down like that, yeah, there's no defense for this teacher because you got to see it from all point of views. Don't just see it from your point of view where it's, like, you want to think that the teacher is right. The teacher is not right in a situation like this because if I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to put myself in every, you know, person's shoes, all right? putting myself in the teacher's shoes first if there's a student talking back to me am i new to this all right has is this the first time i'm dealing with something to you know that's went this far because i'm like fam i have not seen it so many different times i've been that student that's talked back to the teacher i talked back to bro from elementary middle school high school i was talking back to at least one teacher there was never a time where I felt that, oh, I was wrong in the situation. Yeah, there are some times where I'm like, okay, I'm wrong. I'll, I'll admit that I'm wrong. Go outside, go to the office, go wherever. But if there's times and situations where I'm like, okay, I know I'm not wrong. I'm talking back to that teacher. But it never had led to a point. I feel like I dealt with some crazy teachers before, but it never led to a point where the teacher had to call the cops on me. So that's why I'm like, fam, if I, and I felt like that, yeah, I was, bro, I remember I questioned a teacher's, like, you know, her teaching abilities and things, because, so, I think I, yeah, I told this story before, but so anyways, so the teacher said when we're all done with our math test, we can sit with our friends, talk, chat, crack jokes, whatever, and stuff, all right, cool, I finished, well, my, so my friend, he finished his test, so I finished my test, I pulled my desk over to sit with him, she's all like, no, Tyler, you gotta go sit back where you were at, and I'm like, but didn't you just say we could sit with our friends when we're done with the test? She said, thank you. And I'm like, what does thank you mean? That's not that's not answering my question. Can you answer my question? She, um, she said again. And I'm like, OK, you saying thank you isn't answering my question. Can you answer my question? Why am I not allowed to sit with my friend? She said again. At that point, I just went off in a full blown rant. I started going off on her. Then there was like a secondary teacher that was in the classroom. She was all like, Tyler, go outside. And I'm all like, no, that would make no sense. That's horrible teaching. She all like, I right, yeah, bro, I went off and so no it got to the point i remember when i went outside then the secondary teacher she comes out there and talks to me was like why would you talk to her like that and i'm like no because i'm talking loud enough to where i know she can hear me and stuff and then uh yeah i remember going back in the classroom her face is already she looked like she wanted to cry but the thing is is this though out of all going through all of that and i had to give that teacher nothing but respect <laughs> she still carried on with the class she still went on about her business but she didn't call the cops on me that was when i was in middle school that wasn't the last time i argued i argued with teachers even after that i'm pretty sure me and her had got into another argument but the thing is is this though she didn't call the cops on me so my, my thing is, is that why do you feel that it is needed to call the cops on a student? All right. Because she talked back to you and it's, it didn't know. So if you watch the video, so the girl does say where it's like she, the teacher tried to embarrass her in the class. And I'm like, yeah, teachers would do some stuff like that. And that's something where I'm like, they don't put that in the job description where it's like, you got to embarrass um, a student. Yeah. You gonna have some uh, troubled students in your class and stuff, but it's like, that's when you send them outside or send them to the office. And it's like, okay, then if they don't go to the office then yeah that's when you call like school security or somebody and be all like hey you gotta go to the office i told that kid to go to the office they didn't go to the office so that's when you call but other than that it's like because my thing is this you're calling if it's on some stuff where it's like yeah you tell them to go to the office and i yeah i've dealt with kids like that i don't know how many times it was like i never was that i just went to the office because i was like if i if my if i got to the point where i get sent to the office i didn't even want to be in that classroom in the first place and so but anyways no there have been times i remember back in school where yeah kids you know they would get um told go to the office and they're like no i ain't going to the office and stuff because they know they're gonna get in trouble if they get sent to the office so that's when they got called like you know school security which would either be like an actual security guard or a cop um, if the school security couldn't make it that day, and, uh, yeah, they would get, um, escorted to the, uh, office and stuff, but I'm like, I feel that, like, they, it never did get to a situation, though, where they got put in handcuffs, so that's why I'm like, yeah, it's just, you know, unless this girl, yeah, she was just all like, no, I'm not doing anything till I get put in handcuffs or something, I'm like, okay, if that's the case, then that's when it's like, oh, all right, then, yeah, you know, she brought down herself, but it's like, I just, 
highly doubt that a kid would you know, be thinking along those lines where it's like, I'm not going to do, because it's like, if the teacher tells that to your parent, and then that's the actual truth, then yeah, then it's like, yeah, fam, you, you the one that's getting in trouble behind that type of stuff, but I'm like, I, I just, I don't, I highly, like I said, I highly doubt that a kid will be thinking along those lines, it's like, if a teacher tells you to go to the office, you're just going to go to the office and stuff, and it comes off as like the girl, she don't even like the teacher in the first place, so yeah, but it's like I said, if you watch the video, the girl does say that, where it's all like, um, she tried embarrassing in her in front of the classroom and i'm all like and it's those types of things where it's like yeah if a student talks back to you after you know you tried to embarrass them in the classroom yeah you can't be surprised if they gonna say something back so that's why i'm like it, it just it really trips me out how a teacher can have that much of a say so in the situation just because they have that teaching uh title and stuff and i'm like no fam you need to be and i hope that the teacher got in trouble behind this because i'm like nah bro that's not cool but so if i am the teacher and i know people will probably ask me what would i do as a, t um, as a teacher in a situation like this tell the kid to go to the office then it's like they're all like okay well what if they don't want to go to the office then that's when you call um school security or um the whoever and be all like hey gotta escort this kid to the office i guarantee and i promise you they're gonna get up at that point no kid i i guarantee and i promise you there is no kid in school unless they got some serious serious issues she doesn't come off as a girl that got serious serious issues and stuff i'm like no i'm like that girl the way that girl was uh acting in that video she was hurt by this situation so yeah it, that ain't something where it's all like yeah you know the um the kid got serious issues so yeah that's something that's the teachers doing in this situation but then if i'm the parent then i'm like i definitely would talk with my kid and be all like okay how did this happen? How did you get put in handcuffs and escorted to, I don't know, the office or jail, whatever? Because I'm, yeah, that's something that I am going to be curious about. And if she, if my uh, kid tells me the, of what this whole situation was, like tells me everything that happened in the video where it's like the teacher tried embarrassing um, them, I talked back, then she got me arrested. Then that's why I'm talking to that teacher, and I'm all like, is that a, leg a legitimate reason to call the cops? I'm like, do you know how many people you done probably done talked back to in your life? And I guarantee, and I promise you, if this teacher, if it was a situation where, like, let's say her boss was like, oh, you're going to be um, getting a pay cut, and you can't talk about it either. You can't know. There ain't going to be no arguing or none of that stuff. you just going to have to take this pay cut and accept it. No, you going to talk back on a situation like that. you going to argue with a situation like that. So that's why I'm like, have you ever because I, I definitely would ask that teacher so you mean to tell me you went through your whole life without arguing with people you went your whole life without talking back to me i no, i highly doubt that i highly doubt that you've ever been in a situation where you just oh somebody talking crazy to you and you just turn the other cheek no there is no way possible that you um lived a life like that none at all so yeah i definitely would be like you know no it's either my kid gets switched out of that class or they getting switched out of that school because i'm like i do not trust and i'm like and if um if if you guys talk it to like the higher ups, whether it's the principal or whoever is in charge of getting rid of that teacher, I'm like, and if you guys know what's best, you it's best to get rid of that teacher because she don't know how to teach. If my thing is this, could have called me, could have talked with my kid told them hey go to the office it's like no it's like if that teacher is telling because i'm like why did you not just call the parent i'm all like i'm saying that's on some stuff where i'm like nah bro i'm like call the parent the parent um yeah it's like i i'm pretty sure the parent gonna do something unless they're a careless parent but if that if that is not the case i'm like call the parent because i'm like i that to me i'm like nah man that's just insane you skip past calling the parent and call the cops no that that's just no that is horrible teaching i'm like because that ain't teaching these kids an example that's if anything that's making them kids not want to ever go in your classroom again all right so but anyways yeah definitely if i'm the parent i'm like no you guys gonna have to get rid of that teacher because i'm like she gonna be a problem for every student that walks um into this school and stuff and then if i'm the kid then i'm like yeah that teacher she has 100 percent lost my trust it's like here it is she's supposed to be teaching me giving me this you know like this so-called education and all this stuff and it's like here and she's overall teaching me that when somebody talks back to you call the cops yeah, that teacher, she's not fit to be a teacher. I'm like, if that's what you done taught them kids, I highly doubt that anything educational is going to stick with those kids, all right? And it's probably the most, like, weirdest, dumbest um, way of educating kids, whatever class they were in or whatever, you know, education she's trying to provide to those kids. But, yeah, there's no argument to defend this teacher. It's like, and I know there's going to there were people trying to defend the teacher in the comment section as it, um, of the tweet, and I'm like, yeah, them people are trolling. There's no way possible. They, and I guarantee, and I promise you, any of 
those people, you put put them in that situation where you, this is your kid, your kid that went viral on the internet, your kid, yeah, getting arrested and all that stuff because they talk back. Yeah, you're going to be arguing with that teacher. You're going to have an issue with that. So that's why I'm not trying to hear nobody trying to defend this teacher because most likely it's somebody trolling or it's somebody that's racist. And I ain't trying to hear that. You go on your own platform and you talk about this, but you stay out my comments with that. I am not hearing it, okay? So, but anyways, yeah, it's, it's just there's uncalled for. There should be no reason as a teacher, unless that kid is causing, because I, I remember there was the one situation with the kid where he beat up the teacher because she took um, his Nintendo Switch. That's a good example of calling the cops. That makes sense. I can understand that. You're calling the cops on somebody because they talked back to you? That's crazy. I'm like, and uh, all she was just trying to do to that kid was scare her. And I'm like, that is not teaching them anything. That's not, no. I'm like, that my thing is this. If like, if you actually, because I feel like that there are some teachers that, you know, they go to school and they just believe that, oh, I, the kid, um, I can disrespect the kid, but they're going to have to respect me because I'm the teacher. I'm the authority power. I'm their elder. They're going to have to respect their elders. No. For one, I'm like, you have no relations to me whatsoever. You're giving me an hour and a half worth of education. That's it. You are not my elder. You are not no authority figure, no higher power, none of that. You are a teacher at a public school, okay? Private school, college, wherever. But you are a teacher, okay? And people need to understand that. People need to understand. It's like, just because you got a hired um uh a uh, title or whatever that don't mean that you could just get away with disrespecting the kid no that's crazy so yeah hopefully in this situation i don't think i i, I don't even know Let, let's just actually see if they're um if the teacher got like teacher calls cop on student for talk wait talking back uh see there so there is that um u.s preferred cause for a nope why nope is this it for talking back? Well, there's this is the video and things, but oh my, no, it didn't even play out loud. They uh um they don't have like the thing if they said like maybe if I like go and search like this and stuff, but oh they was all like no they for not apologizing and rested. So I think that yeah that is the story, but they don't say whether or not the teacher was like fired or anything. This is, all right, so hold on. This is the story and stuff. Nope. No, it's just a thing where TikTok. But they, yeah, they don't say whether or not um, the, uh, oh, wait, there's like, they did say that they issued a response to the teacher. So there is all like, we received, all right, so no, wait a minute. There was like, uh, HBCU Winston. So, okay, so this is the story. Administrator is at Winston, um, Winston Salem State University, a, historic, um, a historically black school, say they will not work to bring a uh, resolution they will work to bring a resolution after a white professor had a black student arrested in her classroom after a verbal dispute we had we received a report this is what they're saying that there was a significant um commotion in carolina hall this morning and as such a wssu employee nearby called for assistance of law enforcement after they tried to de-escalate the situation in school Okay, we understand that the weaponization of police is a um, prevalent problem in our community. However, that is not what happened in this incident. We strive for a safe, um, inclusive, thriving, and intellectual community where all our um, faculty, staff, and students feel respected and supported to the end. To that end, we would take swift, appropriate measures against any situation that contradicts those ideals. They don't really say anything if the kid got, like, um, fire or anything. The teacher is very emotional, shaken by all of this. How? When it's like you're the one that called the cops. That don't even make no sense. That's crazy. How is it that you gonna call the cops on a student? She talking about she's shaken up by it. I'm like, unless if I've read that wrong and they meant the student, but if they saying that the teacher was. Th Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, that teacher needs to be fired. I'm like, no, there's a, they, this did happen like uh, two years ago. So, because I do actually remember, like, now thinking about it, I do remember seeing this video sometime back. I didn't talk on it, but yeah, it, it's something where I'm like, no, th this should just be, you know, this video should just, you know, to any teacher out there, if you are a teacher watching this video, this should be a sign. Because I'm like, yeah, another teacher will see this and be like, oh, well, then if that's, if it's that easy, then yeah, every time when a student talks back, 
to me, I'm going to call the cops on them. I'm like, no, because you most likely will be that teacher that ends up getting fired, okay? But there should be no reason. If my thing is this. If you can't reason with that student and the parent can't reason with that student, then maybe. But my thing is this. Don't skip beyond calling the parent in, um, on a situation where it's like they talking back to you. Because I'm like, yeah, I every time I went to school, I was like, and yeah, it was like all of years of, not all years, but no, it was all like every, you know, aspect of like elementary, middle school, high school. Yeah, I had a teacher call my parents. But never call the cops. I was like, yeah, that's just some wild stuff, man. But no, if you're a teacher and you think that this is okay, then I'm like, you need to lose your job because that's some crazy stuff. So, but anyways, um, yeah, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys and peace.